the day to move in uh-huh. is too late to begin to dig to dig the foundation. Uh-huh. You see today if you want a shoe you yes. walk into maybe a supermarket or uh-huh. a shoes a store. Yes. And you can identify the shoe that you want. This is what I want. This is what I mm. want. Mm. But that shoe you cannot live with it mm. without paying for it. Mm. And when we talk about destiny, that is the thing. Mm-hmm. Like anything you want in life, mm. nobody owes any, owes you anything. You no have to pay for it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sanana Mitindo. We are having yet another episode on the series of speakers and orators and you know i usually bring you the best guys we have in the country and even outside the country very soon to talk to our letter so but today we have an amazing guest he is none other than pish he's one of the best orators that i know he's uh he's he has spoken in different spaces uh different places universities high schools and today we are going to have him speak about uh what motivates him and we'll also get to know about him so karibu sana stay tuned don't touch that dial hi karibu sana pish we are so excited to have you on the show i'm excited too <laughs> yeah. i feel at home yeah. yeah so uh who is pish maybe someone is watching uh this show for the very first time yeah. and they would want to know who is pish and uh tell us about yourself all right all yes. right all right all right mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, my name is John Mora, but people call me Pish mm. because I run a foundation known as Pish. Pish means basically purity is still happening. I'm the ambassador of purity. I speak mm. about purity. I'm passionate about purity, mm. and I believe I speak to many generations mm. concerning the same, mm. and also sexual purity. Mm. So that is who I am. Uh, professionally i did computer science in school mm-hmm. and so yeah i run an it firm mm-hmm. yeah amazing amazing siku jo naitwa john manze apo apo bana and i have always know your name is either peter or something that's why you came up with peach no, i no, didn't no. know it's it actually stands for the organization that you have started no 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 peach mm. is a burden you need the name is burden yeah, yeah nice nice mm. nice nice thank you so much for coming to the show we are so excited mm-hmm. so uh tell us more about yourself where did you go to school oh, uh, yes. uh so this young man <laughs> i was born in gong <laughs> gong yeah in, in the cold <laughs> place <laughs> is it cold as yeah, they it, say yeah it is cold okay because mm. uh basically our home mm. is at the foot hills of the Ngong Hills. Where? Yeah. Where? Where? Uh, but it is now Mwagika too. Kimaliza to Ngong Hills hiyo at our home. Where? Okay. Yeah, so mm. I grew there. Mm. I went to school. Nilienda shule tatu primary school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the first one was Ngong Township Primary School. Okay. And then I went to another one which was called PCA Emonyata. Mm-hmm. That was class 5 and 6. Mm-hmm. And then towards the end of class 6 I went to AIC Ngong Hills. Okay, that's where I finished. Went mm. to high school, Iligunito Kahuhu Uhuru High School. Kahuhu Uhuru, Kahuhu Uhuru High School. Eh, yeah. where you the tag sister? Kahuhu Uhuru. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. is it sponsored by Uhuru Kenyatta? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a public high school. Okay. Yeah, it's somewhere in Zambezi on your way to Limuru. Eh, Kenya kuna mali kuna ito Zambezi. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I guess actually, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, actually that's where the real cold is. You need to Kahuva actually is a breeze. Okay. Mm. Mm. So that's where I was in high school mm. and then later went to Zitec University. Mm. How was life in high school? Did uh, you start okay. speaking from high school? <laughs> yeah, basically that thing the push was there. Uh-huh. Um I mean, uh you nilianza ku speak from my class at the class level mm-hmm. i used to preach in the class okay I nice. used to advise people mm. in fact ah nilikuwa ninapiga wasi quotes anybody who needed an encouragement <laughs> i remember i had a certain book i had written so many quotes Eish. you know just the motivation ex- uh, inspiration uh. i remember even when we were doing the countdown to kcsc mm-hmm. every day like for uh, 40 days to the exam mm-hmm. like i used to write a quote every day Mm. just to encourage the people mm. not to give up when you look on as you andika ama you had you were outsourcing or what was it uh, you know now uh, let me tell you mm. when something is bubbling in you mm-hmm. you begin by copying okay 
Nice. And now later you mm. begin to form your own. That Very is true. Rare. Yeah, yes. that's how it is. Mm. Mm. So uh, you entered into Zitek University. Yeah. How was university life like? Life was amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are, now you are from all these rules, regulations, mm. laws. Now you are free. You are free, you're free to... You know, yeah. and now there is a lot of curiosity you want to yeah. try new things, you yeah. want to be new. Yeah. And I think um, at this juncture, mm-hmm. I think it is important for me to say mm-hmm. there, there are three levels in life, uh-huh. in the life of anybody. Okay. There is the life of fantasy. Mm-hmm. There yes. is the stage of fantasy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Imagine. Yeah, you're just mm-hmm. imagining and mm-hmm. fantasizing. Mm-hmm. And then there is the age of discovery. Nice. That's where now you begin to discover who you are, mm-hmm. uh, what music you love, what's mm-hmm. your fashion, what's yes. your style. Mm-hmm. There is that place. Of, mm-hmm. um, oh, ole, ole. It's, it's okay. It's a okay. place of um, mm-hmm. uh, discovery. Mm-hmm. And then there is the age of purpose. Yes. And I believe most people miss it in the stage of discovery. So you enter from <laughs> discovery, then you yes. discover your purpose. You enter nice, purpose. nice. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes, yes. Because you see now, at the age of fantasy, you have a million things in your head. Yes. Uh, you can imagine, uh, you're building castle. Mm-hmm. You have in your head mm-hmm. a wedding you can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> a dream wedding. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. But now when you come to the age of discovery, uh-huh. now things begin to fall into perspective. Oh. Uh, because now you, you, you begin to interact with the reality. Yes. Of what's now on the ground. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then after that, you mm-hmm. enter now to the age of Karibu ni seme kwa ground vitu ni different. Because you kitoka high school, I believe even when you're just from high school, that's when you feel this passion. Because it is, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this. Uh, and unatoka then you are now, you're done with form 4. Yes, yes. yes. So I believe upon your son and to discover. You begin to uh, discover. Uh-huh. But mm-hmm. soon or the age of discovery comes mm-hmm. with losses. Losses. Yeah. Where? Okay. That's where people lose their virginity. Allah. That's where people lose their time. Uh-huh. That's where people lose their path of mm. life and yeah. mm. life. Mm. And then when I discover by the time when I get purpose, uh-huh. come on discovery stage you never are you there were no mentors, there was no leadership, there was no direction. Mm. By the time when I get the age of purpose, mm. a lot of things have been missed. Yes. Because they are, you, you see, the age of discovery is quite interesting mm. because Uneza Shikananawa to the wrong group of people. Very true. And then you discover you abandoned even your studies. Mm-hmm. But it's your purpose it will come. Even if you mishandle your age of discovery. Come on. Yeah. You and have so, already started inspiring me. Uh-huh. And so by the time you are in, at your age of purpose, mm-hmm. you might find... Uh, you never, uh, you you never invested the way you were supposed to invest wow. in yourself. Wow. You never read the right books mm. or enough books. Mm-hmm. You never attended enough meetings or Why? no meetings at all. Mm-hmm. There was no appropriate leadership mm-hmm. or mentorship mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. And so by the time when you purpose, purpose uh, le- level was the age of purpose, you have you have a lot of uh, gaps. Mm-hmm. You know, you okay. have a lot of gaps. Mm-hmm. You've lost mm-hmm. a lot of time. Mm-hmm. And now. It might be very hard for you mm. to bring back that mm. together in your life. In order yes. to fulfill your purpose? Yes. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So at the end of the day, one thing that we should always remember is that purpose is inevitable. Yeah, it is inevitable. If God yes. has called you to do some a particular yes. thing, or if you are meant to do a particular thing, yes, you yes. still have it in you to do it. It will still come. It, was, it, it has <laughs> come. Because you see, uh, it is said that the day to move in is too late to dig the foundation. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and the the see, day to? The day to move in uh-huh. is too late to begin to dig, to dig the foundation. Okay. You can you cannot dig dig the, the, You see, you cannot start to dig the foundation mm-hmm. the day you're supposed to move in. Right. Oh, I get, got you. I got you. Plus, yeah. you see, you need also to understand that mm-hmm. in the face of an opportunity, mm-hmm. it's too late to prepare. Very true. So you have you. you so the age of discovery, mm-hmm. I, and I believe that is where <coughs> my generation loses. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, lose it. Yes. Uh, because your time, you have a lot of time. Mm-hmm. You you don't have many commitments because mm-hmm. I believe uh, and most in Akujanga your time umingia kampo. Ukona daro tatu in a week mm-hmm. or you know you have maybe two full days that you are free. Yes. But those are most of us to go Netflix, man. 
Kwa sababu sai ni free. You see, uh, like you waste a lot of time. Yeah. You know, bado sai hiyo purpose is not clear. Yeah. But people are not hungry enough to for success. Because yeah. you see, one of the greatest mistakes I think this generation is facing mm. is that we think we desire success but we actually don't desire it. <laughs> okay, so for you are you why you know, in, uh, because you see uh, every when you ask everybody everybody mm-hmm. has a dream mm-hmm. everybody wants to become somebody I want to go far you want to go far want to make it but are you paying the price for it mm-hmm. Be- because this is the notion mm-hmm. you see today if you want a shoe you yes. walk into maybe a supermarket or mm-hmm. a sh- uh, shoes a store yes and you can identify the shoe that you want this is what i want this is what i mm-hmm. want mm-hmm. but that shoe you cannot live with it Mm. without paying for it. Mm. And when we talk about destiny that is the thing. Mm-hmm. Like anything you want in life, mm. nobody owes you, owes you anything. You nobody. have to pay for it. Nobody. And I, be, <laughs> uh, and I believe it's high time we begin uh-huh. to ask how much should I pay to go Ouch. to the shop. Ouch. But Ouch. most of us we are just window shopping uh-huh. on purpose. <laughs> We are just in the corridors of Papa's basking uh, instead of shopping. <laughs> and knowing we have to pay for what we are looking yes. at you and, to pay for and it. desiring. Yeah, it comes with mm. uh, burning the midnight oil, mm. sleepless nights, mm. you know, sacrifice. Mm. There is no crown without pain. Mm. That is what we need to understand. How was it for you as a speaker when you discovered this is something you want to do? What was the preparation process for you? Because I believe there are so many people out there. I believe, especially my show is watched by very many young people. So, kuna watu wako huko nje wako zileza. Me, I want to become, I, I would want to become like Pish. So, what was the process for you to becoming who you are? Number one, I think they should ask, how much did I pay? <laughs> 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 very important <laughs> uh, because you you see when you discover when you have a dream mm-hmm. um a dream you cannot hide a dream very true because it, it's in you and mm-hmm. it begins to um it begins to push you yeah and uh, if you're wise you should nurture it mm-hmm. uh you need to understand mm-hmm. when i discovered that i wasn't just an ordinary man mm-hmm. I subjected myself to want to discover who I am first. Okay. And that came with a, a wide reading. I have done crazy research. Mm-hmm. I, you know, even until now, I don't mm-hmm. sleep enough. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I'm up by mm-hmm. two, you know, mm-hmm. like reading, researching, mm-hmm. you know, listening to people who I believe they, they should speak to my life. Mm-hmm. Um, that is one of it. Mm-hmm. And then you have to have mental mm. people who you are accountable for, right. who you are becoming they are monitoring mm. are you still on the path are mm. you still vigilant mm. are you still vibrant mm. uh, you know you, you have to have these people who understand the wars in your life right. when you are going through a heartbreak do they know mm. when you are going through a financial crisis do they know mm-hmm. you know you have to these people who are in your life mm. who can tell you go and you go mm. come and you mm. come mm-hmm. because most of the times especially uh People who are in the limelight, yes, we look like we are flawless. Yes, we, we don't like, have mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> we look like, you, know, uh, you know, people uh, see you as this bold man, yeah. bold woman. Yeah. You are all over commanding yeah. things. Yes, the life looks like it's just you know things uh, are just happening. Things are just happening. <laughs> you are living a supernatural life. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but you see now, it is important for mm-hmm. you to inspire and influence a generation. Oh. But now mm. uh, we have internal wars. Yes. Sometimes you might so- fight somebody mm. struggling with fear. Mm. Uh, you know, something like fear, mm. something like uncertainty, mm. you know, uh, but when you have enough voices speaking in your life, mm. I think these things you conquer. Mm. Yes. So what inspired you? Uh, uh, or what, what agenda are you trying to push up at home? Um, because there's so much, kuna challenges, even in this generation. What would you want to see? Because I believe, even as you speak in the many events, there's as much as maybe uh, you are pushing the agenda of purity and sexual purity, to be precise, kuna vision ukonayo, kuna kitu unataka kuona. What do you expect or what do you want to see in our generation? Um, I would say we in the 21st century. Yes. And there is a lot of 
one of the things you need to understand mm -hmm. um, we are fighting many wars as a generation very true because we are in the digital age mm -hmm. and you see mm -hmm. the devil cannot tempt you before he informs you <laughs> <Okay. laughs> he begins by informing you mm -hmm. and then tempt you on what he has informed you so he informs you first yes. then brings yes. the temptation exactly uh, that is what happened to Eve Okay. He, he brought another gospel. Did he really say? <laughs> you know. And then he informs you. And you see, we in a time where mm. the devil tells you, mm. uh, biting is not eating, Eesh. chewing is not swallowing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. Doctor, you see, w when I speak to people who mm. are a generation or two before us, mm. like our parents, mm. you, uh, you will find they were not born in a digital age, mm. and so. Most of what uh, maybe their discoveries, mm -hmm. um, uh, let me put it like this, they were not exposed to a lot of information. Yes. And so now, but, uh, you see, right now we have a lot of access. Mm -hmm. Now with the age of technology, mm -hmm. internet, mm -hmm. uh, smart gadgets, yeah. but stupid people, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because now the gadgets are outsmarting us. Yes. Because you have mm -hmm. a phone, mm -hmm. you have internet. Mm -hmm. Instead of Googling the right things, you're Googling the wrong things. So between you and the gadget, who is smart? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in an age of smart gadgets. Yes. You see, and we have access to information. Mm. And right now, mm. you 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 find that um, the generations ahead of us, mm -hmm. they never had that access. Mm -hmm. Now our generation, we have access to information we should not even be having. Mm -hmm. At certain ages, yeah. you know, when I was say, "Kabo we kako nine years already hooked to pornography." Kadem kako thirteen years, she knows so much about lesbianism and homosexuality mm -hmm. more than you. Mm -hmm. Why? Do exposure yake mm -hmm. it began early. By the age of five, they were playing games you can't play. Wow. You see, mm. and so you, you you begin to find we are fighting many wars. Yes. But now I believe we are so many of us in mm -hmm. the vineyard, mm -hmm. and that's why now my line is purity. Wow. And that's why I'm taking my time to mm. fix our generation Amen. on matters purity, How because that is one of the foundational mm. um, matters for a society. Yes. And that that is one of the biggest weapons the devil is using to mm. destroy young destinies. Mm. So what I you asked me what I want to see. Yes. What I want to see a generation. Uh, mm. Working in uprightness mm. in terms of purity mm. because we need to put things into perspective. Mm. I, I, I am so bold. I want to talk about masturbation, mm. I want to talk about fornication, mm. I want to talk about homosexuality, I want to talk about these things. Yeah. Where did we come that? Uh, when did we where enter did we this, lose? Uh, when mm. did we enter into this space mm. where we are so comfortable with sexual error? Mm. If we talk about it, because mm. it's not of God. Yes. When I read my Bible, mm. It is, you know, mm -hmm. it, the Bible is very categorically clear. Mm -hmm. Be ye holy as your Father is holy. Amen. In fact, the Bible says in Matthew 5, 48, be ye perfect. Mm. As be ye perfect, perfect as, your as your Father is perfect. Is perfect. Yeah. Mm. So, ego spell, don't judge me, is mm. not of God. It's not in the Bible. Mm. We need to judge you mm. and know what is the foundation of this thing. Wow. One one thing that uh, I, I got to learn while I was reading a book still on sexual purity was uh, how far is too far? That is one question which many young people don't want to answer and many of us assume uh, because uh, when I start a relationship maybe with a lady and we are to make a point in a to cause a baby are about to marry or something or maybe we are, we are just having fun one of the questions that we never ask is how far is too far and i don't know how to put this mm. precisely uh as much as we're having a relationship is uh, it starts with uh kissing then pole pole to naendelea hugging mm -hmm. it's okay then it develops now to we are hanging out together. Then it grows deeper now into having more intimacy. We don't even care because it's okay. So defining uh, those boundaries. Can you help us define that? Yes. How far, for you, what's your take on that? How far should be too far? Because if we don't define that, bado kutakuwa na gap. Watu takuwa zile za tuna date lakini bado ni okay ku sleep around, bado ni okay ku fornicate. 
eh, right. because sometimes there is no akuna hiyo clarity ya how boundaries how far, how far can i go okay. tunaweza tunaweza shikana shikana tunaweza as in we need to know that mm. Mm. Uh, we desire purity too little too late Mm-hmm. and that's why now we find ourselves in situations we can't control mm-hmm. uh, and then I also believe people have too much confidence in the flesh Okay. and you need to understand your body uh, is have millions of nerve endings <laughs> <laughs> millions <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and we have active spinal cord there you know the nervous system is still functional yeah. and so anytime unaje atombe wangu hizi vitu atombe wangu hizi vitu and so i think uh, mm-hmm. let me help we with the puzzle yes number one sex is a package it's a package it's a package uh-huh. and uh, Ukiki is bad with sex. Okay. It's part of it. Part of it. Uh-huh. If you touch the erogenous part. Mm. Okay, erogenous part in the parts you touch and somebody gets aroused. Bro, you can mm. you can tell us. Okay. Feel free. <laughs> let's speak about these things. Yes, let's speak uh, about them. Uh, now, anytime you begin now even to touch uh, uh, those erogenous parts uh, and uh, you still have sex. Because sex okay. is a package. It's a package. Yes. You, you, mm. know, you know, we have the thought of that uh, sex is penetration. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. In fact, mm. that is the last stage of sex. <laughs> okay. You know, mm. that is the last stage. Mm. But now sex is a package. Mm. Now cuddling, uh, kissing, mm. touching, mm. all that mm. is part of sex. Mm. And so if you are doing those things, mm. uh, we, we can say you are encroaching. Mm. <laughs> you are doing encroachment. And it's wrong. Yeah, already that is the genesis of it. Okay. And that's why now you reach to a point where una pikanga tunasemanga pina point of no return. Oh, is it the point where uh, people begin to tell you stop talking. You know. <laughs> okay. And you can't even help yourself mm. at that point. Mm. And therefore I really believe when people enter into a relationship mm. and your focus is marriage, mm. the first thing to do, have a serious meeting on defining your boundaries. Nice. So that's the first thing. Mm. You, because now, I also believe mm. most relationships mm. don't run on a curriculum. Mm-hmm. And number two, mm. most relationships don't have a vision. Mm-hmm. Okay. What are we doing together? Mm. Like, Uh, I, I really believe that is one of the huge error we have in the 21st century. Oh. Because you see, just because you guys have good chemistry, mm-hmm. you love the same things, mm-hmm. you enjoy each other's company, mm-hmm. is not enough for you to get married. Mm-hmm. Where? Way. Where? I didn't know that one. Yes. yes Thank yes, you. Yes. If mm-hmm. there is, if actually any marriage that is not built on the foundation of vision, any marriage mm-hmm. that is not built on the foundation of a vision. Mm-hmm. It will be chaotic and sometimes uh, at some point it might collapse. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. So when we have we are dating this relationship, mm-hmm. it goes beyond looks, it mm-hmm. goes it goes beyond chemistry. Mm-hmm. It has to come to a place of uh purpose mm-hmm. and vision. Mm-hmm. Do you love is not a feeling, it is a willing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's a choice. You decide yeah. to love a person. Yeah. It's a decision by the end of the day. Mm. But now, he said, mm. what what vision are we fulfilling together? Mm. What's the purpose for this union? Mm. And that is the question people don't answer. Mm. You are my soulmate. Mm. You are my helper. Mm. You are my purpose mate. Mm. Vision mate. Mm. And I'll add some value to you and mm. more respect. Right. And therefore, to turn that, you could define no sleep over mm. you know mm. you know mm. you, chemistry mm. na like fireworks Very sometimes true. you cannot mm. keep your hands for yourself mm. when you're with that person mm. and so like come on if sleep over what to the cut off mm. let's be meeting corporately in a nice restaurant mm. dress up go mm. with your notebooks mm. discuss the agendas sometimes go to a movie hallelujah like there is the seriousness you have not attached to dating yes. and even mm. uh, ultimately to marriage. Mm. Because I believe the biblical definition of marriage is a relationship. Mm. The, uh, they are for assignment, mm. not for self-satisfaction. Kuna watu wanajitetenga na songs of Solomon. Let me play the devil's advocate and speak for them. 
wanajitetea yango wanasema sisi maneno god ameongelea kukuwa na relationships Sijui no. nini. <laughs> eh, that's why it's in the Bible. So wh- wh- what's your take on that? Because they okay. explain about caressing and all that. You see, uh, let me tell you. Mm. That's the problem of half revelation. Half revelation. Yes, yes, mm. yes. The Bible, uh, the book of Songs of Song. Mm. Uh, it's, a, it's actually, <laughs> it's, it's a love book. It's and a love it's book. It's poetic. Mm. It's love. Mm. But that book, that book addresses, it is, uh, Christ addressing the church. Mm-hmm. Basically, you mm-hmm. know, when, when you read Ukifanya Kitunito Exegesis, mm-hmm. you know, uh, precept upon precept, line upon line. Okay. When you read it through and through and through, mm-hmm. and when you go to the foundation of it, mm-hmm. it is basically not, uh, yes, it has the template of love, uh-huh. but that love is in the setup of marriage. See wow. how it is. Wow. wow, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Because the thing, mm-hmm. yes, I, I, you read the songs of. You may saw your book. Now I I have already addressed. Why should I dress again? <laughs> but you see, when you take that line in yeah. Songs of Songs, chapter five, mm. like it doesn't make sense. Mm. Um, at the start, when the man that could to me starting in a year, the context <laughs> of that is the bridegroom and the bride wow. in the setup of mm. the church. In Do you know I speak mm. about my wife, my mm. darling, my mm. sister, my lover? Mm. It is about these are people in marriage. It yes. is a marriage affair. Mm. And I know we speak here Christ and the body of uh, the body. So what we are saying, Chesu, we are going to songs of Solomon. Wana, lazima to come to the, the place of. Kama una ring hakuna ding ding. Kama hakuna nini hebu rudia hiyo. Kama hakuna ring ring hakuna ding ding. Hapo sasa guys nice nice. But we need to be real. I believe this is one conversation that we can't end and I I I love the fact that even in the beginning you talked about mentorship and the importance of mentorship even as far as sexual purity is concerned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I believe you have um, um, a bad story na nini speakers. And mm-hmm. it's not easy. Yes. It's not something which happens uh, like anyhow. You have to prepare, you have to invest time in this and energy. Mm-hmm. So as we, as we wrap up the show, maybe you can tell us one moment for you which was which has been quite inspiring, where you went to speak in an event and you were like, where this is really what I'm called to do. It was inspiring, it was that moment for you. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say I've, ha- I've had many such times as those ones, mm-hmm. because the matters I speak are quite sensitive. Mm-hmm. And uh, most of the times I have found myself in setups where maybe, and especially when you speak on subjects like pornography mm-hmm. and masturbation, yes. it blows people's minds mm-hmm. because number one, they don't understand the spiritual aspect of it mm-hmm. and the implications it mm-hmm. has. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I've gone to several places, high yeah. schools, yeah. Mm-hmm. and I speak about it mm-hmm. and people will come really mm-hmm. running and they are like, yo, you need to help me. Mm-hmm. And they open up their personal story. Yeah, and you're like, what? Now, mm-hmm. how do we even begin? Mm-hmm. You know, and mm-hmm. that's why I really feel there is a need for mm-hmm. more people to stand uh, mm-hmm. as purity ambassador. You may call a moment, Sana, mm-hmm. where even ladies come and open up, and you're like, where? Now it's getting scary. Mm-hmm. You know, for me, it gets scary. Then it gets even mm-hmm. awkward when a man is opening up to you yeah. about the same. You know, mm-hmm. and so we're like, where? Okay, but now. I really believe we are here for that assignment mm. and we are ready. Mm. We are ready, we are ready. Amazing, mm. amazing. So what's that to wrap up show? Uh-huh. Uh, so to talk Fanya Pop Quiz, this is a very laid back segment mm. where you get to talk about uh, basic things about okay. yourself. Yes. It's uh, serious. Okay. But I believe what we have talked about for me is really, 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 really important. Mm. Yes. So what's your favorite food? Your favorite food, what do you love food. eating? With. Okay. Yeah. Anytime, any day, I can do fish fingers uh-huh. and fries. Oh, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Sour, sour. So, what's your favorite destination to Kikwambia Leo Sanana Mitindo because of what you have done in the show today? We want to take you somewhere in the world. Where should we fly? You do. <laughs> Maldives. Mal- Maldives. Hey, Maldives. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, your favorite mobile phone application. Ile okay. nunatumianga sana. 
basically WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp. Nice, nice. What else do you enjoy doing apart from speaking in events and talking to people? Traveling. Traveling. Yeah. So you're traveling one on one, that is what you love doing. Traveling and exploring fashion and cars. Fashion and cars. You are my type of friends. <laughs> when you wanna pend a magari kuba kuba kama mimi. <laughs> nice. Favorite pet. And have you ever had a pet? Okay, I'm not a pet person. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh my goodness. Pet. Mm. Uh, I'm not feel new land. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I think um pet. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know why, but mm. the pet across space in a desire pet. Kabsa kabsa. But I think because I don't have somebody in my circle, mm. close circle, mm. yeah, and I don't and a pet. 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 Uh-huh. Okay, mm-hmm. so you are not a pet guy, you don't I'm love pets. Pet oh, nice, nice, nice. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Na filio taim ime songa mbio sana. Part two. Chakuita part two. But that was amazing. I love, I love the vision. I've always seen you on social media. You know you are a celeb. Na kuona pale mtandaoni una trendi una trendi pale tuko news sasa leo tumekuleta hapa and I'm so excited to have you on the show eh yeah, we are really really humbled and we can't wait to have you uh, in a few years time also to talk on the same i believe uko na vision in unataka kufanya na e generation so you can uh, maybe mtu anataka kuku invite in their campus and maybe in in a high school setup for you to talk about these deep issues about sex and purity uh, where can we find you on social media uh, facebook you can tell us on your camera number okay, 3 okay. all right yes, all right, yes, all right, yes. All right. Uh, uh, and for facebook and for instagram uh-huh. so facebook we as again johnny pish mora or i have a page known as pish p i s h purity still happening which i butter inbox me we get to talk more at our instagram Johnny Pish. YouTube Johnny Pish. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for coming to the show. See you next time. All right. Yes, 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 yes. So that was Pish Mwenyewe in the show. One of the biggest and one of the best orators we have in Kenya. And he was talking about uh, sexual purity, which is one topic which has been really ignored by many speakers. And I believe this is, it's about time for us to talk about these things. So remember, we are still continuing this series on Kenya's best orators and speakers. And next time we are having another big guest. So you can't afford to miss this and every other episode of Sanana Mitindo. See you next time here on Wema TV. Remember, it's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. I was your host, Isaac Burke. <laughs>